So this is Hogwarts Legacy Multiplayer. This is not from Avalanche, it's from um, some a team of uh, modders, okay? They made a mod using a Skyrim engine and uh, it looks great. So in very little time, the game released just a while ago, a, a few days ago, several days ago, and they already recreated Hogwarts. It's incredible. The textures, the lights, the sounds, uh, the objects, reflections, and. Uh, I have to ask, I mean, I ask myself, look, if a team of modders who have a lot less access to resources what are you up to now? and everything about the game than Avalanche, if they're creating a 10 player mod for the game, why not release it? Why not release a multiplayer option? Look, you, you don't have to have anything to do in the multiplayer. No quests, nothing. Just give the option like um, you start your own server and like uh, a certain number of people can join it and you can just explore the open world that's it and people will role play because role playing is a thing if you don't think it's a thing go to twitch and check <laughs> gta okay people role play a lot and there's a lot of interest um behind role playing and um look at that Look at that, man, that's, they could actually, these modders, they could actually recreate Quidditch. Since there's no Quidditch in the game, they could make it. That would be huge, right? That's the great thing about modding. The liberty to create whatever you want within limits of what is capable to to, to do but um, you're not um, limited to that plan for the game you can just play the game see what is missing and um, just think man wouldn't it be great to play Hogwarts Legacy multiplayer yeah then let's make it Or they could say, man, wouldn't it be great? These rocks have seen better days. Wouldn't it be great to play Quidditch on Hogwarts Legacy? Yeah, let's make it. So they see what is missing in the game and and that's look, that's how like uh, Counter-Strike was made. Counter-Strike, it's a mod from Half-Life. The whole MOBA market came from Dora, and Dora is a mod from Warcraft 3, not World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3. So mods, they are actually um, very important to the market, to the gaming market itself, because uh, they can show they can create new niches, new markets because independent developers can actually tap on something that the big companies are missing. 
And as players as well, they know what players want. Auto chess, although that's very niche, didn't really, um, didn't really become a, a big thing, but. Roblox. Roblox is actually a platform based on that. Roblox is almost as, uh, actually it's as big you as Minecraft. I would dare say Roblox is bigger. But imagine for all Harry Potter fans, or even those who were not Harry Potter fans, but uh, bought the game and liked the game, to be able to play it multiplayer, to role play with your friends. Imagine PvP, deathmatch, capture the flag, flying on magic brooms. There is so much potential to do beyond the single player game. There is a lot of stuff you can look at that, man. Come on. Look at the attention to details in the mod, man. These guys. <laughs> I don't know. Avalanche should hire them. Seriously. Like, uh, I'm serious. Um, companies sometimes hire players to get their vision of uh, where the game could go, should go. Sometimes they invite big streamers. Blizzard does that a lot. Look how, look how they walk around the school just to show you that it's not uh, just an outside, it's not just a, an image. They didn't just create a a, a, a shell. It's it, they they created everything. They recreated everything, and they just walking around to show you that all areas of the school uh, you you can walk on everything, around everything. They recreated the whole school already. Imagine in a month from now, in two months from now, what they will have accomplished with this mod. This is gonna be huge. This is gonna be huge. <laughs> This is going to be huge. I wonder. I wonder if uh, if Avalanche released a lot of the the objects from Hogwarts Legacy to be modded. I didn't pay attention to that. Or if these guys they just you know did it all on their own. It really looks great. <laughs> now, the quality of the video is... Uh, it's, it's, it's not on my end. Okay? That's the high, highest quality available for their video. It's their video. I will obviously I will put the link to their channel on the description if you guys want to follow their work as well and if you want to see the other work they have done they have done Skyrim multiplayer they have done Fallout multiplayer so these guys uh, these guys are great team together I think 
is the name of the the modding team. I, I, as soon as I finish this, I'm going to subscribe to their channel because uh, I want to follow up on this development. I want to know uh, how far it goes. I, I, I can't say this enough. I really, really think that role playing is going to be great for this. I already want to do role playing on Hogwarts Legacy. But it's solo role playing. Italians and a historian's uniform. It works. Sometimes I wish I knew. They recreated the NPCs. <laughs> and, and to recreate the NPCs and the players, they had to... I mean, I... <laughs> I'm not really sure if it's everything, if the characters are... Loyal, a hundred percent loyal, or if they're just like uh, trying to simulate. Well, that that was great.